Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to this FIFA 18 informative video. Hopefully you do enjoy it. If you do, hit that thumbs up button down below to show your support. You absolutely smashed the likes on the introductory episode to our FIFA 18 Road to Glory, which pretty much explain what the series is, how it's going to work, and a few of the rules and details, etc. So if you did miss that, I will leave a link in the description. There will not be a stream today because there just isn't anything to stream. FIFA 18, the first access is going to be available tomorrow. 18 streams are beginning on the first day. I am hyped for it. Hopefully you are. So, because we are now one day away from the earliest point that you can play FIFA 18, I thought I'd do this video to try and explain some of the commonly misunderstood things about the different versions of the game, the early access, etc, etc, and try and answer some frequently asked questions. So hopefully this is informative. If you've got any more questions or comments or feedback, please don't hesitate to put them down below. I will also provide a couple of channel updates as well regarding sponsors and things like that. So, let's begin. First things first, let's get into the dates that everything is being released. So, today I'm uploading this on the 20th of September. This is the Wednesday of this week. On the Thursday, the 21st, is when everything is happening, pretty much. So, we're going to get the web app. We are getting the companion app, and we are also getting EA Access early access. So let's get into that one first because I feel like a lot of people are confused about that and they don't know exactly what it is. This is how you can play FIFA 18 early before the game comes out. So EA Access is exclusive to Xbox and so if you're on Xbox One you can purchase this membership. Now what is EA Access? It basically grants you the ability to play old EA games for free under this membership, as well as play new games early before they come out. So starting on the 21st, eight days before the full release of FIFA 18, you are able to play the game. Now the only downside is that it does have a time limit of 10 hours. So this is why I'm going to try and advise you to use other things as well for certain aspects of Ultimate Team in order to maximize your 10 hours. So we're also getting the web app and the companion app. If you don't know what these are, they're basically other ways to play Ultimate Team. So you can do everything other than play your games, okay? So you can access your squads, you can access the transfer market, the store to open some packs, and now this year, because they've re, like, revolutionized the web app, it actually looks good again this year, finally. For the first time in like five years, it actually looks like it should do. You can now access SBCs, which is awesome. So you don't have to waste your 10 hours on the game doing these things that are available online. So I would advise if you are getting EA Access, Early Access, for your £5.99 a month, that you use that to play games. And maybe load up on your FIFA points, because you don't actually add FIFA points on the web app or companion app, but you can use them if you have them loaded on. So as soon as you've loaded your points or you're playing your games, I would advise to do your trading, to build your squads, to open packs, etc. on the web app and companion app. So again, if you don't know what they are, then I'll put up a little screenshot here and a little clip of what you could access on the web app in FIFA 17. Now again, it's been revolutionized a little bit, so it actually looks a lot better than it has done because the, the layout has stayed the same for years and years and years. Now it fits the theme of the new modern FIFAs, and again, with SPCs on there, that's really, really good because otherwise you'd have to do them on your console or on your phone, which is really, really fiddly. But again, the companion app, which is where you could do it on your phone, has also been improved and updated. So hopefully that's going to be a little bit better this year. You can access your ultimate team now fully, pretty much, on your computer, on your web, on your phone, your tablet, etc. So all of this stuff is coming out on the 21st of September, the Thursday of this week. Now... If you don't have any of those things, or you want to actually play the game and you're not on Xbox, when's the next earliest time that you can get the game? Well, if you have pre-ordered either the Icon Edition or the Ronaldo Edition of the game, you get three days early access to FIFA 18. And so this happens on the 26th, okay? Three days before the game is released. I'll very quickly pop up on the screen everything you get with the Icon Edition right here. And... It's pretty awesome. We're assuming that we are going to get three full days access. Now, for those that haven't been playing FIFA for years, EA Access used to be called something else. I can't remember exactly what the name was, but instead of getting 10 hours for like a week before the game came out, we got three full days with no time limits at all. So that's what we are assuming we get with the Ronaldo and Icon Edition, which is awesome. So if you've got EA Access as well, 
you get 10 hours between the 21st and then the 26th, and then you get the game three days early. All of your progress from EA Access, the web app, the companion app, the early access from Ronaldo and Icon Editions, all carries over to the full game. Whether that be Ultimate Team, Pro Clubs, anything at all. You basically have the full game early, you just have time limits and stuff like that. So everything is not a waste of time, it carries over. It's not like a demo or a beta where it gets wiped. You will keep all of your players, coins, stats, etc. So, uh, the quick comparison between what you get in each of the versions, a lot of people ask me this question as well. Pop this on your screen right now as well, and you can get that information right there. Pretty much the best value for money, if you can afford it, is to get the Icon Edition with the discount through EA Access and through the store on FIFA 17. You can get it for like £72 when it's supposed to be like 90 or something. So that's really, really good value. You get 40 packs. <clears throat> Excuse me. You also get loan versions of CR7 and R9 Ronaldo, special kits, etc. So it's really, really good. And this is what we're going to be able to get. So then the full game comes out on the 29th. Whether you've got any edition of the game, you can go to a shop, you can buy it on the 29th. Again, everything will carry over from what you have done on your early access. So again, 21st, EA Access, the web app, the companion app. 26th, the Icon and Ronaldo editions give you your three days early access. Then the 29th is the full game. So again, I would advise only play games if you're using EA Access 10 hours time limit and then do everything else on the web app or the companion apps because why would you waste your time when you can do them on these things instead? So my streams over the next week or so before the 26th, I'll be playing games on EA Access and then if I'm going to be doing trading or other things like that, I'll probably switch over to the web app for part of my stream in order to save my EA Access 10 hours time. Now, there's apparently a workaround to get more than 10 hours where you have to pay on a second account or something like that. But I don't know the details. I don't know if you can get in trouble for it. So if you want to look it up, it's up to you. But I'm not going to advise anybody to do it just because I don't want anyone to get blocked or banned or anything like that. So, a couple of channel updates as well as to what you can expect on here throughout FIFA 18 and the game's life cycle. Towards the start, everything is linked to my Road to Glory. I explained this yesterday in the video for the introductory episode of that Road to Glory. So, I will be doing drafts, I will be doing foot champions, I will be doing normal seasons, I will be doing squad battles, I will be doing SBCs. Pretty much every single thing you can do within Ultimate Team, also the daily and weekly objectives, will be on my streams. Now, for the first week or two, there may be a few times where I make... I don't really want to say significant, because I don't know if that's going to be true, but I will make progress off stream. And now this is because I'm going to be sat up at like 2am or something, and I'll be on the web app trying to make a few coins on a player overnight, and then the next morning, oh, I've made 2,000 coins. And so I will try and update you guys every single day as to what I may have done in the time in between the last stream and the current one. And that will happen throughout the year. I may also be doing a weekly update video for my Road to Glory. You know how I do the weekly stream recap and schedule videos? I may change that so it's just a weekly recap of my Road to Glory. So people that can't tune into every single stream, you will have an opportunity to watch a short probably five minute max video where I try and summarize everything that's happened throughout the week, any significant progress, any significant packs or rewards or anything like that, I will try and show you all of it. So other things to do with the channel, the support recently, again, has been absolutely crazy. I hope that people are hyped for FIFA 18, the road to glory and all of my streams and everything that's going to come with it. The plan is still to do daily live streams. In terms of videos, a lot of people have asked whether I'm going to be doing Road to Glory episodes as videos and stuff like that. I don't intend to, other than maybe that weekly update. Pretty much everything will be streamed, but I will be uploading a few videos at the start of FIFA 18 to try and help out newer players. If you're an experienced Ultimate Team player, they're not going to be for you. It's purely for the, the new guys that may need a few tips and tricks. Also, going forward... Uh, again, I have to thank everybody for the support because it has meant that the channel has been growing, we've got more people, and it has given me the option, they have now made this available to everyone actually, 
the sponsor button on my channel, which is pretty goddamn awesome. If you don't know what it is, if you've ever used Twitch, then subscriptions on Twitch are like a paid support method uh, to watch your favourite streamer or whatever. So this is now available on YouTube as well in the form of a sponsor. Now, what you can get from that is a badge next to your name, and now that they are fully introduced, there's custom emotes and emojis that are going to be in the chat. You don't get, like, you don't uh, get sort of slowed down by slow mode in the chat if I turn that on. You can access sponsor-only chats as well. Now, what I'm going to ask you is, what do you think? Because I've got five sponsors right now, which gives me two custom emotes in the chat. What do you think they should be? Give me suggestions in the comments or tweet them to me if you want to, and that would be pretty goddamn awesome. So, I'm hyped for FIFA 18. We are now one day away. I hope that you're enjoying it as well and you are ready for the streams to begin. I hope that you can tune into the first one tomorrow. It's going to be pretty awesome. I will see you guys then. Thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye.